It should work. Fingers crossed. Welcome back to the channel, guys. So, let's turn this up more. So, today's a rainy day. That means it's getting warmer, but it's a tease. It's, it's gonna get cold again. We're still working on that Chinese diesel heater. We did put a new one in, and it seems to be better. There's not really as much haze, but it's still producing a haze. So I am gonna try a different duct work. This is the one that came with the heater. We were using a different one because it's longer, but I'm just gonna take this drawer out and then route this right out of that so we can try and see if maybe the duct work is causing a problem because I think the duct work is not withstanding the heat. I think it's I think it might be stinking it up a bit. We're just trying to kind of narrow everything down and do one thing at a time and do different tests and see what we can do to figure this out. Right we are going to take this guy out first. Okay. Yeah, there we go. As you guys can see, we have this it's duct work right now. It's supposed to be rated for dryers, so you would think it would work, but the smell that seems to be being produced in the cabin smells like the ductwork. We had to use different ductwork than what came with the heater because what comes with the heater is so short, and we had to route it up and over and around because we have all of our electronic brains here, so you don't want the ductwork on your wires, obviously. As you guys can see, the, the one that they give you, that's how short it is, which is honestly really dumb. I guess most people, when they put the diesel heaters in, they're like right next to where they want the output, where they put them under the seat, the front seat in a van conversion. I've seen a lot of that. I guess it's just we're routing it differently than a lot of people. But regardless, I'm going to go ahead and fire up the heater and see if that makes a difference. We're going to close all the doors and windows and let it rock for about an hour. Power it on, set it up to high, as high as it goes. 5.4 and I'll check back in like 20 minutes. I decided to stay in here now uh, while it's running just in case anything anything happens. So far, still no haze. We're probably about 35 to 40 minutes in now. No haze, I mean, before you can kind of see it on cam, you can't see anything because there literally is nothing. So that's a really good sign. I'm gonna let it run for a little while longer. It's really hot in here. I might honestly have to take the sweatshirt off. I'm getting sweaty, this is, it's hot. That's hot. So I got it up to about 83 degrees in here. So it's been about an hour, almost, yeah, like an hour and 40 minutes or so, an hour and 45 minutes, and there's still no haze. So I think it's safe to say that the duct is probably the issue right now. Problem is I can't find a three inch diameter coupling, like a connector, because I have, I think, four of these, but I can't seem to find three inch ones at either Lowe's or Home Depot or any other hardware store. I'd have to order them online. But I did, however, find a different aluminum duct on Lowe's website that they have a few in store. So I might run to Lowe's quick. All right, we're off to Lowe's. Hopefully they have what we need. Fingers are crossed. I got this semi-rigid flexible aluminum duct. It should work. This expands to eight feet, which is kind of crazy because it's like a foot and a half right now. It does seem to have some oils on the outside of it. Um, so it might have a little bit of a burn off. I'm not sure. We're gonna head home. We're gonna hook it up and we're gonna see how it goes. All right. There we go. We're gonna get right into it. Let's do it. Let's do it. We have metal zip ties on, which are these little guys here. So I'm gonna take all those off. Fish this guy through and see how it goes. So there we have it. We have it run to here, all the way around down into the heater over there. It took about half an hour or so, uh, and I'm gonna go ahead and get the heater up and running and see how it works. Fingers crossed, we're good to go. Right, I hear it starting to suck some air in, so that means the heat should be coming out in just a few seconds. I feel air coming out. There's hot air coming out. So I'm gonna give that a little bit of time, see if it gets hazy in here or not and hopefully mission accomplished. We'll see in a little bit. Okay guys, so as you can tell, 
it is much later now. Um, so there was a bunch of oil that had to burn off of the ductwork first. So I had all of the windows open so it could ventilate for like about two hours or so until it all burnt off. And then I closed everything up and now I've had it running for the last about two and a half hours. And there is absolutely zero, zero. And I can say that without a shadow of a doubt, there is zero haze in here. So I think our problem is solved. I'm gonna test carbon monoxide levels and carbon dioxide levels first. I have a reader for both. So before I spend any time in here, I'm gonna test the levels first. So let's do that right now. We have our carbon dioxide reader, our carbon monoxide reader. So we're gonna turn them on and let them calibrate. And we're gonna step away from them just so we don't skew the calibration. I'm gonna leave these go so I don't skew the results. We're back. We have zero on the carbon monoxide and 700 on the carbon dioxide. It should be under a thousand is what, I, is what I'm hearing. So 700 is pretty darn solid. I think we're good. And there's still no haze in here. So <sighs> I think we finally have it figured out, ladies and gentlemen. It has been a ride. The time really got away from me today. It's already like 9.45, I think. So I'm gonna kind of just relax and get ready for bed, probably read a book. And uh, yeah, we're gonna sleep in here tonight. It's the first night with actual heat that isn't gonna get cold in the middle of the night. So that's excited, I'm really excited. That also means that next week we can actually go somewhere. It is toasty in here. First time in two months since getting my bus back from the mechanic, I actually feel like I have my bus back. This is awesome. This is really awesome. Looks like we're maintaining at about 68 degrees. I don't like sleeping too warm. I don't like it too cold, obviously, either. 68 is like right about where I like to sleep. Feels really good in here. I'll catch you guys in the morning. Good night. Good morning. Ugh. It was actually a pretty solid sleep in here last night. It did end up getting a bit cold, so I turned up the heater partway through the night, and now I turned it up to high because when I woke up, it was like, I think 60 degrees or 62 degrees, which isn't bad. It's still warmer than it was with that space heater. It's already warming up in here, so I think it's time for some coffee. The heater's working pretty well. It's heated up probably about, I don't know, five, six degrees in like half an hour already. So I'm gonna chill, have some coffee, and then I'm, I messed up because I did not fill the water tank, the fresh water tank yesterday, and I meant to. So I'm gonna have to go out and bear the cold to fill the water tank this morning. Oh, that's so hot, ow. Oh God, time to bear the cold. It's definitely not warm. Whoa, that sun feels good though. But it's definitely not warm. Let's fill up the water. Ooh. It's time to have a nice hot breakfast, a nice hot shower. Toasty in here, very toasty. It's nice. Gonna have to use this grill tank, propane tank, for the time being. I forgot to fill my five pound propane tank. Yeah, I'm just gonna use that to make breakfast. That is nice. All right, I'm all changed and ready to make some breakfast. On the menu for today, we have some hard boiled eggs. We have a banana, we have raspberry, and we have yogurt. So a nice balanced breakfast. There we go. Drop one. All right. Easy. Easy breezy. I like my hard boiled eggs uh, heavily salted and peppered. Cheers. Mmm. Mmm. It's perfect. Breakfast is done. I'm gonna go ahead and clean up these dishes. And that is gonna basically conclude the video. So thank you guys so much for watching. 
I'm glad we finally got that heater done. I'm sure you guys are excited that the heater is done. Finally gonna be able to hit the road and actually do some fun things. We're gonna be able to enjoy this for everything that it was built for. I guess without further ado, I'll see you guys next week from the road. Peace.